hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is the fourth video tutorial of uh, the series where we are learning how we can use an unmanaged VPS to create websites so in previous videos we saw how to purchase a VPS we saw how to install IIS server how to point a domain name to a website which is hosted in your VPS so this is the domain name which we used to point to our VPS and uh, as you can see here it is not exactly the secure okay so for in order to make it uh, secure we'll have to install SSL certificate we'll see how to install free SSL certificate in today's video so for that first of all you'll have to log into your uh, VPS in case you are wondering which VPS I am using so I am using Pi VPS so in the description you will find the, the link for it now once you log into the VPS you will have to open a internet browser so here I will open Microsoft uh, Edge and uh, search for a keyword called uh, win ACME so win ACME is basically a tool with the help of which you will be able to install the free SSL certificate in your VPS so once the search is complete you should be able to see a domain name called win hyphen ACME so just click on that it will take you to the official website and uh, at the top you will be able to see a download option so just click on that uh, download button and it will download a zip file in your download directory click on this uh, folder button basically it will take you to the download uh, folder where the zip file will be stored now right click on this zip file and uh, select extract all extract it in the same folder after the extraction is done you will be able to see another folder just uh, double click on it to go inside and here you will be able to see a application called WACS so right click on it and uh, click on run as administrator so if you have already logged in with uh, administrator account then you can just click on open otherwise it's better to run as administrator so now it is asking me whether I should run it or not so just click on more info and uh, click on run anyway and it will take you to this uh, command prompt here you will be able to see a lot of uh, options here so as we are going to create a new certificate so just uh, type uh, n here and uh, hit enter here it will automatically list all the websites that you have created so so far we created tv shows info which is uh, having two bindings so one for uh, ww dot and one for non ww so I will just uh, hit enter to choose all or if you want to select any specific in this case the number is 2 so you can uh, type 2 as well and now it will list all the bindings that we have we have two bindings so tv shows info.xyz and www.tvshowsinfo.xyz so I want to install SSL certificate in both uh, of these uh, domain names so in order to do that you can see here pick all bindings to pick all bindings you can select on a I will type a and I will click on enter now type uh, one so it will just uh, a presentation of the main domain and I will click enter and then it is asking continue with the selection one or two so I will click on yes you can just uh, type uh, why again it's basically opened a new page with uh, the agreement so nothing here you have to do go back to the console and uh, it will ask uh, whether you agree with the terms or not click on why and uh, any email address that you want to provide so email address and then you will be able to see the installation process is going on so it will take just few minutes only as you can see here certificate is created and it is uh, done for both the domain name now you can type here uh, q 
to quit the console and it will go away now let's go to the IIS uh, manager console and here uh, if you will click on the website and if you'll go to the bindings you will be able to see two more bindings has been created here and that is for HTTPS so which was not there earlier so the script that we run automatically created this particular uh, bindings now if you will go to a browser and then type uh, your domain name so make sure you include HTTPS and if you will hit enter you will be able to see the lock button here which says that SSL is already installed Sometimes if you do not see this option, so what you can do here is that you can go to your VPS and you can try to restart the website. And once you do that, or you will be able to see the SSL certificate here. That's all for this video. Next video, we will see how we can install WordPress over this VPS. So this hello symbol is not uh, that we want. So what we will do in uh, next video, we will see how to install WordPress and uh, create a website from over there. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notification about the next video.